Hello, Gemini. I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Gemini. So this reading could resonate with anyone um, who has Gemini strongly in their chart. That being said, um, I urge you to be discerning as you look at, as you listen and watch this reading to make sure it's really meant for you. If you go away from this feeling, or if you're watching this feeling, reading frustrated or feeling diminished or in some way feeling resistance to this reading, this reading could then therefore not be for you this time. Um, I am doing these readings in with the intention of, of um, bringing forth something that's inspiring comforting and bringing and that will bring confidence to those who resonate with it so um, that is my intention <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get shuffling now Gemini um, those of you that don't like the shuffling can just move forward to where the reading begins and that's fine with me um, all right let's get started here Gemini what is the current energy for this group of Gemini please what is the current energy what is the current energy for this group of Gemini's something big happening now this um some big change here that energy didn't come out but it did flip over very strongly so there's some undercurrent energy of change here for gemini current energy for the sign of gemini current energy for the sign of gemini wow all right future energy that Gemini will be stepping into. This could be for the next seven to 10 days or the next couple of weeks. The next three weeks, we're looking at the next immediate wave of energy. We're looking at the next immediate wave of energy. Next immediate wave of energy for Gemini, please. This is so interesting. Next immediate wave of energy. There's just, there's a lot, there could be a lot of pieces to this puzzle. There could be a lot of communication happening here. Um, it's just like the, there's a lot of little energies popping off. See that? I mean, it pops up, it shows itself, and then it goes back. There we go. Okay. And guidance now. Guidance for Gemini. Guidance, please. It's just, they're just popping off. Could be a really exciting period of time. There could be just a lot happening for Gemini. All right, let's see what's here for you. We can see some of the cards here, but not everything. Knight of Pentacles energy. Ace of Cups energy. King of Swords, there you are. Three of Cups. Two of Swords. All right, my beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is always a pleasure to have you here. I'm glad you're here, and I look forward to the story that's coming out. Um, this is the wheel of the Your Tarot deck that I'm using, and there will be an extended reading after this that will look into four of the energies here, and then I'll take the scenario, move it out wave by wave, or out four waves of energy. Okay, let's get going. There is an, a kind of an energy, a little bit of chaos here. It's like I'm wanting to get everything in order. I'm wanting to get things in order because it seems like things are popping off all over the place. So um, there is steady progress being made. Now there could be, a, could have been some sort of, or they could be some sort of offer that has landed in your lap or that you have worked your way into. Um, we do have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. Um, this could be some sort of a person coming towards you or a job opportunity that you're connecting in with. Whatever this energy is, this Knight of Pentacles energy, it's a, it's a slow and steady energy. Um, if this is a person, this could be an earth energy, very grounded, very slow moving, very practical and pragmatic kind of energy. Um, this could also be a job connection that you're kind of zooming in on here that is a, an improvement um, it's coming forward. If this is a job or a new business opportunity um, or some kind of new improvement that's coming in for you, it has 
um, a strong indication of further improvement, further revenue generating. Um, it's stable and it's and it has a significant energy with it. It's a beautiful energy. The Knight of Pentacles is a very grounded, analytical, stable um, energy. The the Knight of Pentacles doesn't really like to move forward unless there's some sort of clarity around what kind of benefit there will be to it. Um, this is a very wise energy, an energy that will avoid um, chaos, that will avoid, avoid crisis or invo avoid some sort of negative financial repercussions. So it's a good energy. It will build, it will add to your foundation. It will add to your revenue. It's, it's a good energy, the Knight of Pentacles. It's a steady, grounded, foundational energy. So if this is a person, I mean, this person is coming forward with something of substantial value to you. If this is a job, this could be a real improvement for you. So I like that it's the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. Now we have the Ace of Cups here. There is an energy of love as well, of new love, new inspiration. Um, this person could have been, could have, could be bringing forward something of significance here and coming under the umbrella of love. I mean, I don't really see any other way of, of saying this. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be family love. It could be love of a people. I say this all the time. Love is encompassing of all of humanity and all experiences. There's love involved. Even hate is a version of love, is it not? It's like the yin and yang of love. You know, it can be over anything. It could be over a young child. It could be over a new job opportunity. It could be helping a community, bringing vitality, vitality and nourishment into a community. It could be bringing resources and healing. Um, it could be a group of doctors going into a place that is needed, needing healing and, and rescuing. Um, it's more of a ace of wands energy, but this is something that brings love and vitality and inspiration into and experience. Okay. So there is some sort of love energy here and this very well be, it could be a love offer. Now here's the thing. You have the King of Swords here. So here you are, Gemini, in a very serious way. I mean, you're looking at this energy. You're looking at this Knight of Pentacles and you're looking at this Eight of Cups and you're really taking some time to, to make sure that you're seeing what is being offered. This King of Swords is, is very scrutinizing, isn't he? He, he's sitting back and looking at this with a very logical, rational eye. See the two of swords over the king of swords? He's, he's looking for the truth of what this is. What is this offer coming forward? What is this energy coming forward? What is it really offering? What is it bringing? What is the intention of this offer? What is the intention of this energy? Is it to have a love affair? Is it to start a business? Is it, um, is this person coming out of, out of a sense of equality? Is this person coming forward? because they need something from me. This King of Swords is really trying to find the truth in this situation. And I really think like the truth is there because this Two of Swords energy um, is an energy of, of sifting through the fog, sifting through the smoke, sifting through the fog and really seeing the truth. Um, so I think this King of Swords is trying to decide, okay, what is this love offer? What does it mean? What is it? What value does it have for me? What will it help me with? Will, will it be fulfilling for me? Will it be healthy for me? This is a person making a very wise decision and looking at something very closely because this King of Swords has been through the gamut, right? This King of Swords has seen offers of love before, has been through journeys of tumultuous times. Um, and so there is a need here with this King of Swords. This is your energy, Gemini, to really look at this energy of love and energy of of some kind of major improvement here with the Knight of Pentacles and really look at, at what the quality of this is, what its intention is, how it will impact your life and the long-term value of it. So it's a very logical, rational, witty, um, there, there is a decision that's going to be made too. The King of Swords does make a decision and it's usually fair and equal and very logical and rational. We do have the Three of Cups energy. Now the Three of Cups energy to me is always like a um, celebration of a new beginning. So I think that there is um, a, a, cele a celebration here. There is something to be happy about here. There is an um, energy of joy and happiness. Something beautiful and new is, is, is has started here with the Three of Cups. This is not an egg that was just hatched that's being birthed. This, this is not an egg that was just, um, that was just, what do I want to say? That was just laid. There we go. This is not an egg that was just laid. Like this egg has been hatched. So there's something here. 
there truly is something here that's birthed itself. Um, this egg is clearly fertile and this egg is clearly having a baby. So there's definitely some, some new beginning here that is, that is exciting and happy. There could be a family dynamic here, a workplace dynamic, but something has started and it's inspirational, it's beautiful, it's loving, it's exciting. And this King of Swords is trying to see the truth of the meaning of all of this. So that's where the King of Swords is now. All right, let's see what happens in the future here, Gemini. What happens in the future? Eight of Pentacles. So it could be something that you're working on. Lover's energy. Ace of Pentacles. Higher font. Seven of Wands. Temperance. And Knight of Cups. All right, so I think for many of you, this is a story about love. Some of you, it could be a story about work, because I do see the work energy. But for many of you, this is a story about love. There is something here that you're focusing on. There's something here that you're really focusing on with the Eight of Pentacles. There's something here that you are, your attention is being drawn to. It's something that you're wanting to protect. And there could even be something that you're wanting to express about yourself. Um, I know that this stable energy is something significant coming along here for you and an offer of love here, an offer of something very inspirational. But there's something I think that you're wanting to say. There's something here that you're wanting to be clear about with the Seven of Wands. It's like self-representation or self-advocacy, self-expression. And whatever this expression is, whatever this is that you're wanting to say, it's it's... It's being said in, in a way um, with the intention of creating, str uh, creating strong boundaries, making sure that um, you're, you're not putting yourself in a position where you're setting yourself up for some kind of inequality or some sort of situation of overgiving. Because it looks like there's some sort of partnership here with the lover's energy, and there's some sort of decision to be made about that. Some, some kind of decision is, is going to be made here of whether you move forward with this or not. Um, it does seem like this situation for you um, is going to bring in some sort of new improved reality with the Ace of Pentacles, but there is a, an energy here of temperance. This temperature, the, tem the temperance energy is the bottom energy and in the middle, which for me, many of the times this energy is the overall energy of the whole reading. So it feels to me like over the next couple of weeks or even over the next month, you might be really um, taking, taking a step back and thinking about this in a very rational way, very compassionate way, in a very patient way, understanding that it could take a little bit of time for all of us to, co to come together, understanding that there could be some complications here that need to kind of work themselves out. But in the long run, you know, I mean, I think what you're seeing here is this offer of love right on top of the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this is, this is an energy of love and it is going to impact your reality in some way. And with an Ace of Pentacles, that's always an indication of an improved reality. So there could be a new relationship starting up here. That's a reality for you. That's actually here. This, this is a situation that's not a dream, right? It's not something that's still, it could be if you're back farther in your journey, right? If if you're still back in another level, finishing off that level and moving up to this, maybe this could be, you know, in a few months for you or something or in six months or a year. But for this group of people that I'm reading for today, they would, they see, if we go back to this reading, there would already be something here, right? So there's already something here. There's already something in the, in the cauldron or in the melting pot. There's already something there, right? So whatever this offer of love is that's coming forward could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be, there you are, Gemini. I mean, it could be Sagittarius, it could be Taurus, it could be any sign, really. We have a lot of cards that we use here. Um, but whatever this offer of love is, there is a, a, a real possibility here that you could be entering in a, into a brand new life in some way, an improved financial picture, and a, um, a strong foundation, a new engagement, a wedding, something that's really going to change your life in a, on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? This Knight of Cups energy is on top of the Hierophant and on top of the Ace of Pentacles. So 
This person is coming through or this energy is coming through with an energy of stability, an energy of structure, an energy of formality. Could be an engagement coming in for you or something here really big happening for this group of Gemini. That said, there is an energy of protection um, around this, an energy of patience and compassion, and also um, a a real willingness here to focus on this and intentionally intentionally work towards something here. Because with the Eight of Pentacles, you know that this is something that could really be um, a, a very long-term, stable, abundant type relationship that will bring in comfort into your life, stability, um, a gentleness, a relaxation here. And I think that um, also there's this intense energy with the lover's energy. So it's a beautiful, it is a beautiful future the next couple of weeks that I see here, but it will require some kind of patience and understanding here. And it will, you will be in somewhat of a advocacy, self-advocacy, where you're communicating something that's important to you or making sure some kind of boundaries are set. It's, it's a it's a it's a really beautiful quality here because I think you're really wanting to make sure that this is a fair and equal situation, one that's an equal give and take with the seven of wands. So, I mean, I see that there's still an energy of love. I see in the future that there is um, a real possibility for a brand new reality, but it's going to take a little bit of time. I see that this energy is coming forward in the energy of stability and formality. I mean, the next couple of weeks, I think are, it's going to, you know, you're going to have a little bit of, of offense to do and defense to do. But ultimately, I think this is continuing good news on this front. It's continuing good news. I really don't know what else to say. You have the Knight of Cups here. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Lovers. You have the Hierophant. I mean, it's pretty exciting, Gemini. You're willing to work on it. You're not getting distracted by other people's drama. You could even be keeping quiet in a way. You know, he's not going off and telling the next person or get going into the marketplace and saying, hear ye, hear ye. You know, I mean, there's not a newsletter going out here with all this information. He's just quietly sitting back and working on this. Interesting. I love it. All right, let's look at the guidance here. King of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Knight of Swords and Page of Cups. Well, it's been a, a love energy throughout. Now we have, how many knights do we have? We have three knights. The only knight that we haven't had is a knight of wands. And I don't think we care about the knight of wands right now. There's so much love and romance and truth here that I think there's enough passion to go around because we do have the lover's energy and that's a very passionate energy. In fact, you might not even care about the Knight of Wands right now. You're looking for something that's long-term and, and something that is um, loving and nurturing and will be there as a stable foundation for you as you move forward into the future. So again, I mean, here's the King of Cups. So we do have a King of Cups here. It's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be one of those zodiac signs, but this person will be taking on the the um, personality or the characteristics of a water sign and being very generous, being very loving, interested in life, interested in what you have to say, um, interested in building healthy relationships. Um, it could be a doctor, could be a nurse, could be a healer, could be um, anyone in any industry, but this person is always interested in bringing health and vitality and nourishment to the environment around him. He is a doer. He, instead of he would rather do things to show love instead of say the word love. So he might be a little bit reluctant to, to speak, but you will see what he, how he feels and the actions that he takes and the, and the work that he does. The Knight of Swords energy, this is a, this is forward moving, truth seeking, truth statement here. So this person is going to be direct. This person is not going to mince words. They're, they're going to have a truth to say. They're going to come forward. It could be quite surprising, Gemini. It could be really surprising. Um, it's very, there's, you're not going to be confused with the Knight of Swords. There's not confusion with the Knight of Swords, right? There's truth, directness, intensity. Could even be a message coming forward, a written note or a text message or an email, something with words. Doesn't have to be, it can be something with written words, but doesn't have to be. It can be verbally spoken. 
It can come forward towards you in any way, but when it comes forward towards you, you're going to absolutely know. It's not going to be vague. It's not going to be confusing. It's going to be right, right there, right there. And look at this page of cups, like page of cups, cups is a message of love. So we have all the energies of love. We have the page of cups. We have the knight of cups. We have the ace of cups. We have the king of cups. I mean, we have cups all over the place. This theme is ongoing in the reading. So there's some sort of new introduction here. There could be somebody coming in that you've known a long time ago with a page of cups. There could even be somewhat of an apology here. I'm not saying it's somebody from the past that you don't like. I mean, I'm not saying to go back in, into an energy that was abusive or unhealthy. I'm not saying that at all. This could be a brand new person coming in here with a message of love, a new introduction that brings warmth to the heart, new inspiration, excitement about life. It's a springtime, love time kind of energy with the Page of Cups. So I think for many of you, this could be a love story. And I don't, um, I've been really trying to do general readings because I know that we're all living different kinds of experiences, but I don't know, this, maybe in other parts of the world, I don't know, but I feel like for many of you, this is a love story. Honestly, I don't think there's any way to deny it. So those of you that are, feeling the love or getting some sort of love offer, this reading could very well resonate with you. This is exciting. Okay. I mean, honestly, this, there is so clean cut. It's really so clean cut here. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to go to the extended now. Let me see what energies I'm going to go into with this. I'm going to definitely see what this King of Cups has to say. <sighs> I'm going to definitely look at the, the page of cups. I'm going to look at this Knight of Cups. I'm going to look at this Ace of Pentacles. I mean, I usually only look at four. But we also have the eight of, Ace of Cups here, too. But see, this Ace of Cups would have already happened. So I don't know if I need to go into that energy. I want to stick with the future. I really do. Maybe we look at the night. I'm going to do five energies. I'm going to do five energies, and I'm going to take this scenario out into the future. We'll uh, I'm calling it per month, but I prefer to say waves of energy. So we'll look out four more waves of energy and see how this is going to carry forward for you. All right. Thank you very much, Gemini. I know this was a, a quick reading, but I mean, it's clear. The energies are there. It's, it's a love story. It's truly a love story. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.